Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. Yes, very nice indeed. We have been sieged down by Austin Eri last time, if you remember, some nice defensive sieges. We've abandoned Eren Runen to see whether the elves will take it back, or it might even rebel to the elves, but hopefully if it does that, we're not at war with the elves afterwards. That'd be pretty annoying, to be honest. Um... But we do have Edward in down here, ready to fight a glorious battle against the Dolgador scam once again. Uh, down in the south, we are moving around a little bit. Got this guy. Could do with moving Captain Gorgash out the way. Um, which I think we'll probably do. So, Captain Gor... Okay. Um. Um. Uh. Where did you get them from, Captain Gorgasha? Huh? <laughs> Where did they come from? Um, okay. Well, well, I mean, it's probably better to try and take them out now. Um, in terms of archers, we've got the Avari Naharim. We've got the Thorn Crossbowmen and we've got the Vineyard Bowmen. Um, our infantry obviously will not be able to stand up to those boys. But if we can, you know, how many hit points do they have? They've got nine hit points. With a defense of 30. Oh. Um. Uh. <laughs> that's pretty obscene, isn't it? Um. That's going to be very hard. But let's have it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see whether we can uh, take them out. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, guys. And I was just thinking this right now. Like, for such an old game, those horses, their faces are a bit janky, but. The bodies actually look really good for such an old game. I'm kind of impressed, you know. Um, but, of course, let's get uh, let's get these guys in here at the front. And then uh, group them all together. Then we'll get you guys behind, of course. And then the cavalry, which is our general, can go there. And the Avari Naharim, of course, going after the great beasts. You're not going to be at fire at will. But you're going to come forward. I mean, the rest of what they got is just infantry. I don't know whether the Great Beasts can actually harm them as well. Um, but, yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Why are they running away? Classic. Fari Naharim, get all the way over there. And then the cavalry will just bring you up as well. Speed it up a bit. Okay, they do have archers. I thought they didn't have archers. Who's the archer there? Oh, they do have orc archers. Oh, god damn it. I didn't realize. Get all the way over here. Get away from those filthy orc archers. We can fire at the great beast now. Which is good. Um, I think we'd be out of the range of the orc archers now, surely. They don't have good range. Oh, no. Now they're firing forward. That's okay, then. We'll fire at them. So, where are we getting up to? Where's the range? I think we need to come forward and then get you guys coming forward as well. Fire. Just as soon as you get in range of the great beasts, we need to fire at them. We need to fire at them. They will absolutely destroy our poor men. This is why I kind of wanted to skirmish a bit. And to get rid of these guys as quickly as possible. But it's going to be so hard. Come on, crossbowmen. I know you're taking some damage. But this is it. Okay, one of them's got a little bit bloody. Not fully bloody, but a little bit bloody. Oh, here come the boys. Here come the Orky boys. Oh, and they're going to go after the Avari Naharim. That's fantastic. Honestly, that's brilliant. Are you guys on, are on uh, guard mode? So, halt. They're going for the charge. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to kill them so quickly. Thorn Guard versus the Moranan Guard. Oh, wait. Cavalry. Let's use our cavalry while we can. Actually, don't go that side because we might get charged by the great beasts. Let's come this side. 
And I think Vineyard Bowman, you can definitely go after these boys. Let's get over here if we can. Their charge is actually re relatively quick. I think you're on fire at will now. They can fire back as well, remember? So, it's a bit of an issue. Uh, yeah, just run all the way up there and hopefully they'll charge you, chase you all the way. How close do you have to be? If I mean, the worst case scenario, if these vineyard bowmen get charged by them, I'm not honestly bothered by that. Seems like we're losing a few men to their arrows, and they've not lost any any great beast yet. If we come up over here, where's the cavalry gone? Now let's spread them out. Infantry's taking a bit of a battering here. Go through the orc archers first. You should be able to fire at them. Let's get over here now, though. I mean, they've got a little bit bloody, but not much, have they? So, I mean, you guys, actually. See if we can get into the back of the Moran and Guard. Not the greatest charge I've ever seen. But it's not terrible, either. The Orc Archers are getting a bit of a battering there. The Moran and Guard is routing. Good. They're shaken. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Still taking damage. They're just not falling. Oof. This is brutal. I think if you go over there. Crossbows would probably be a good option. I think that's Moran and Guard gone. Now our vineyard levies are breaking. I mean, they are only levies, so... Now we need to charge into them. How are we doing over here now? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Need you to come and fire at them. They're actually not going after the vineyard levies. The Oryx are taking it quite well. Now you guys get in the back of there. So you fire at them. Crossbows might be the thing that saves us. Well, the Black Oryx have gone over here to fight the Vineyard Levies, which is kind of funny. Uh, we've got the Black Oryx Halberds in there now. So where are they? You fire at them. And then let's uh, let's get over. Actually, let's, let's go for a charge on the back of the Black Oryx there. Wow. I just don't think... We've taken out one great beast, actually. Let's do it. Fire. Fire at them. Come on, this charge is going to be good. Come on, good charge. Let's go. Yes, good charge. Good charge. Good charge. Let's go. One more. Should be enough. Broken. Come on, the boys. Let's go. I think a charge into the Great Beast might do a bit of damage, you know. Come on, get them while we can. Now they're chasing after the Avari Naharim. Um, well, you guys are back to being able to fire. So let's get out of there with the cavalry. Don't think I want to charge them with the Avari Naharim just yet. I want to get rid of all the infantry first. So let's get into the back of these Black Oryx Halberds. Looks like they're going after the cavalry. Ha one has died, so they must be low on hit points now. Which is good. Uh, but yeah, these poor vineyard levies, uh, bowmen, are going to be shredded here. Here we go. There's the charge, boys. Let's go. Come on. Break them. That was a terrible, terrible charge, my man. Just meandering into them. Never great. Worst thing about this is, like, we're going to have to bloody retrain all these boys now. Let's get down here. So, it's us versus the Great Beast currently. Will you actually set up ready to charge so that you actually do charge this time? Please, come on. Stop being such fools. Uh, and let's run away with the Avari Naharim because they're the most valuable unit that we have. And they're very experienced as well. That was a better charge. Okay, they're broken now. 
getting tired. So we've killed more than 85% of the enemy. We just need to break these great beasts, which... Go for a charge on him. See what happens. Okay, it's not killed them all straight away, actually. Now let's get out of there. They need to bunch up, ideally. Would be a lot better. Come on, the charge. It's like the Rohirrim. Let's go. Kill them. Kill them. Hit him. Kill it. I think we might break him if we, you know, get a couple dead. And they've not got their charge now, their special attack. Right then. Let's go. Let's get out. We'll, we'll spread out as well. Come on, men. There's three there. Yeah, we've had a couple of units route. We know. Now we need a proper charge here. Oh, come on. I don't know. <laughs> These great beasts might be the death of us here. In the course of battle, the defeat seems almost certain. Now rally the boys. Come on, men. These Thorn Guard have, have stuck in it for so long. The final charge. Let's go. That was such a glorious charge. Both sides at once. But it's not done much, has it? Unfortunately. Come on. Kill these fools. Kill them. Well, I think... Let's back out again. This has been an exceedingly bloody battle. Oh, you guys are back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go fire at them. Well, let's get out. Let's get away from them for a bit. If we've got a... Uh, got someone who can fire at them. Then we'll bring them towards them. Now, they're still killing us with their arrows. <sighs> That's very annoying. We'll try and go and join the other cavalry. Come on, great beasts. Come on, Bowman. Let's have a go at them. Another go. Come on. How tired are they? They're exhausted. That's not ideal. Surely the great beasts... They're eager. How are they not exhausted? Come on. Come on. They've got to die. Surely. They've got to die. They've got to die. Come on. Come on. God damn it. Let's charge again. There's not much we can do here. <laughs> They're just so good. We've got so many hit points. We needed more archers really to take them out. And then let's uh, let's actually get out then. We'll just go for the charges. Let the archers fire at them. Come on. And let them come past us again. No, 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 no. We might lose this just through routing. No, the archers now have gone. <sighs> the great beasts are just too much. Too much. A step too far, I've got to say. Just, they're so good. We've only killed one. Like, how many arrows have we thrown into them, this battle? One final charge, boys. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think that's going to work. Go. Go. Get out of this battlefield. Get out of this battlefield. Oh, dear me. Well, I guess we're not getting reinforcements anytime soon then. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, that was annoying. Like, the levies and the uh, the crossbowmen did no kills. But that was because they were firing at the goddamn uh, great beasts. Jesus, they were so strong. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And um, I think we'll accept that. Oh, we actually, we actually retreated this way. Oh, that's glorious. God damn great beast, huh? So nine hit points. So they got 270 defense, basically. Nine times 30. Oh my 
Gully, gully gosh, wow! Oh, God. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, let's have a go at Captain Nasdug. This time, this battle should be a bit more promising. Mirkwood goblins, yes, that's what we that's what we need after last battle. They do have some wargs. Cavalry wise, oh, we've got Edward in, so that's okay, I guess. Infantry, we're kind of screwed, so we're gonna have to just try and skirmish with them as much as possible, really. Uh, but I think, I think we're okay. They've got a lot of men. They just need to die. They only have captains, remember? So if we can take out the captains, we'll be good. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are on a misty old day. I quite like the mist. It's very atmospheric, so we'll keep it like that. Um. But yeah, we've, we've got some okay troops. We just don't have many of them. So I think you, 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 and you, and you can be uh, here. And these two, they can just be behind somewhere. Like, don't really want to lose them. So, yeah. Uh, is that all the cavalry we have as well? Get you guys... And yeah, we'll group. We might as well group you guys together. Group, and then you. Yeah, you are on fire at will. Good. That's what we like to see. So let's start the battle. Where are they? Why are they there? That's just so dumb. Let's go. Let's get the archers running there. And you guys can just walk. Cavalry will go and support the archers, so we will run as well. You guys get here, and then the Avari Naharim will use you for harassing as usual. Where's their general? I'm assuming their general is this guy, so let's try and take them out early on. Where are they fucking going, bro? Like, what are they doing? Stand and fight. Stand and fight, stupid orcs. Here come the Wagi boys. Do they have many... I mean, they, they have their own archers, but I think we've got the, you know... The overriding strength over them in terms of archers. Because we've got rangers and that. I don't really want to get the Avari Naharim in that gap, honestly. Yeah, we should be just shredding them with our archers now. I'd prefer you to fire at the Orc Maulers, honestly. Oh, they can actually fire back right now. Fire at the Orc Maulers. Or the Dolgador Host. Our infantry's in line now. Yes, nice boys, nice. Taking out quite a few. Now the crossbowmen are able to fire as well. Good. Absolutely shredding those maulers. Nice. That's what we like to see, boys. They've got low armor, remember? They're just quite a strong melee infantry option. What are they? Oh, yeah. Let's get out then. I mean, I mean, we'll just come back here slightly. Get away from those Mirkwood goblins. Right, well, I think it's time for the infantry to march forwards. Who's this then? Orc hunters. Get them. I don't want them firing their jabbies at us. Come on, quick. I do not want them firing their jabbies at us, especially at the Moriquendis. Uh, they've gone for the spread out formation rather than actually firing the jabbies. Now that's fantastic for us. Come on, the Vitna Court Knights. Very nice. Why are you firing at them? That is a fucking stupid idea. We're literally charging them, you idiots. Jesus. There's the Dolgador host. 
So, yeah, we need to take out this unit. That's where the general is. In fact, you guys focus on that now, probably. We're going heavily on the right-hand flank. Oh. God damn. Sorry about that, guys. Just tabbed out for no reason. Come on, boys. The Dolgador host should be dying quite nicely. Get there. More spread out. These Moriquendi protectors should be able to hold up their end of the bargain for a very long time. Now let's get over to... Actually, no, let's not get over to the right and flank. They're already shaken, these boys. Let's go for a charge, though. The Vitna Court Knights are just fantastic on the charge. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my days. <laughs> That's obscene amount of damage we've just done there. Let's get out, then. I mean... It... Oh, so one general's already dead. So this general isn't dead, but the other general is. Let's go for the Dolgador, then. Those guys are already broken. Fantastic. It's all about morale damage, guys. All about morale damage. Only half the enemy force remains. The orc. So on this flank, we are a bit screwed, to be fair. Those guys are broken already. What is going on? We need more cavalry in this army, really. A lot more cavalry would be good. Come on, get the Vitna Court Knights through there. Come on, break them. That's awful charging. Not the charging. I mean, it's, honestly, it pisses me off how... Okay, that's another general dead. Good. It really pisses me off how... Oh, hello, wargs. We should get rid of them. The Vitna Court Knights are so much better than them. Uh, but it pisses me off how when you charge uh, a spread out formation, it always does worse. <laughs> that's literally like, that's the best situation for your cavalry to charge in. And it just, the engine doesn't, just doesn't allow it. Like it just makes it worse. Like it doesn't do any, anywhere near as much impact as if they're in proper formation. Oh God. Just annoys me. See, watch this. It won't even be a good charge. Like charge. They got 150 now. Like, nowhere near as good as the Orc Maulers. Those guys are routing. I think we need to charge them off. You guys get after these Merkle Goblins. I'm happy for our guys to just trade uh, firing at them. And just keep firing. Everyone fire at them. Are they all routing now? Good. Well, you guys charge after them. Edward in after them. So we'll try and take out as many as we can before uh, we go and finish them off. Because remember, we've got to kill 85% of these boys. Remember, 85% so we can take of both armies. So we can take out the, uh, the settlement. Go after them. Come on, kill those orc hunters. I'm not bothered about the wargs. Quite like to take out some of the fighters, though, as well. Continue the battle. You guys get after them. I don't know whether you can. It says we've killed 94, but I don't always trust that. God, Edwin's unit is so obscenely strong. Nice. Doing well, boys. Doing well. That final unit. I don't know even where, where they are. They're there. They'll get killed, yep, yeah, surely. Wait, there's more of them. A single guy. Oh, poor, poor orcs. Fantastic. Well, what a great victory to uh <laughs> compare to our last one. We killed a lot there. We killed a lot. Nice. Well done, boys. Well done. 293 for the Thorn Riders. 255 for the Vitna Court Paladins. Fantastic. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And of course, we're going to execute. Otherwise, this town won't be ours. 
So I'm hoping, yeah, both of them dead. Rawberg is back in our hands. <laughs> I feel like it won't be for too long, but uh, it is back in our hands. Let's sack it again. <laughs> uh, oh, they got a militia garrison here now, which is quite nice. Yeah, good. Let's get that. Northmen are still quite a lot of the uh, population. Um, I wonder if we can leave. And leave behind, like, just nobody. It's on 80%. I think that's <laughs> okay. And we need to get all the way back to Santanui as quick as possible for retraining. And, uh, yeah, we're just kind of holding out hope in these regions that we don't get attacked too badly. Um, we have the militia garrison here, don't we? But it's not going to be a huge amount. If we can get that thorn uh, barracks in there, that'd be quite nice. We've still got some money to spend, so let's have a look. Naburka, of course, we can't really build anything that's worthwhile. And we're building everywhere. We've got spare money. Wow. Well, we'll keep that in case we need some extra spare money soon. <laughs> Let's get the Avari Naharim in there. And, yeah, when we can retrain them, we will do. Santanui, anyone else we want to train? Four turns until the next Moriquendis are available. And then Austin Airy, we're just going to have to defend as hard as possible. So let's end the turn. Finally, after those two battles. <laughs> Doesn't normally take us that long to press the end turn button. But, yeah, good. Everything's going okay. It's just... Dolgador is just honestly just so annoying. Like, it's not hard... They're not hard to fight. We just can't produce enough troops to really, uh, to really, you know, build up um, against them on the front. And now Enmahath as well. God damn. Mordor is honestly just so annoying. <laughs> what dickheads. Just go away. What's even in Enmahath? I don't even know. Um, in terms of the garrison. But yeah, these tiny little sieges are just so, so annoying. Really, really, really annoying. So Erin Runen has... I mean, I'll accept it. Just so that we get it, I guess. So it has gone to rebels. So that means that... Yeah, we're still allies with the Woodland Realm. Good, 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 good. And we built in a lot of places. Fantastic. End of term report. Recruitment report. Santan, we got a bit of retraining done. That was just all for armor, right? I think. Although armor will come next turn as well. Uh, sorry, not next turn. In like four turns, we'll have loads of armor upgrades to do. Um, but yeah, good. Don't care about the civil revolt. You guys need to get back. I think this army's ready to go now, though. I know we're taking Vine Lord Swain. I think we are. I think that's the one we want. Um, but yeah, this army is pretty much ready to go. How many archers have we got? One, two. Only two. Three, four. Oh, wait. One, two, three. That's not many. I would like a few more archers in there. Oh, we're getting another one. So that's four. I, I, I'll accept four. Four is fine. Um, and these guys are recruiting another Avari Naharim. That's good. Right. Well, we moved them and them. Look okay up here. What is in Enmahath then? Just one of those. Who's attacking? Three units. Come on. It must be like a really damaged unit. Um, we don't have the militia garrison here, I believe. So there's no way we're going to be able to defend that. God damn. Just, just honestly, Mordor, you are so annoying. If we had a general in there, it would be a bit better, wouldn't it? But <sighs> Mordor is honestly the worst. Uh, well, these units, I think these units can go in garrison. If we, if we leave with everyone in Avalyn's Rest, and we get you into Avalyn's Rest... How are we doing? Northman 45 now. So we can actually recruit some troops here. Let's recruit a Thorn Guard and one of those. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably a good idea. Yes. They'll get in there. And uh, let's go after Karagukor. 
It should distract Mordor a little bit if we go after Cargo Court. Remember, they have this region down here, so it'll still allow them to siege this down in their head, if that makes sense. So the AI only likes to siege down things that are bordering them. That's why they're going for Enmahath, because they've got Varfest, which I would really like to take out, so that they stop doing this. <laughs> stop doing it. What pricks, honestly. What pricks. Um, but yeah. Let's, uh, and let's make sure we're building everywhere. So construction-wise, Bur Emericus, we got the roads. Nice. Let's go for something a bit cheaper than, like, the herbalist. Vilta, got the communal farming. Vilta, Vilta, Vilta. I mean, Vilta is bordering Dorthaloo, so it might be worth getting that militia garrison in there just in case. Ilanin's actually safe now, for now. So... Elanin is so poor. It's it's ridiculously poor. Let's get the chicken farming, though. Buralga got the Thorn Barracks, which is quite good. We can't recruit anything just yet from that. So, I think... I think we go for the military garrison, honestly, to get loads of defenders just in case. <laughs> I know it's a bit defensive, but I think it's worth it. Actually, it's probably not worth it because it costs so much money. So let's go for that instead. Buralga. Yeah, that's what we've just done. Avalyn's Rest got the Thorn Barracks now. Yeah, we've, we've just seen that. Um, I think we do go for the Militia Garrison there. And Erin Runen got the Military Garrison, but now it's... I don't know whether that works with rebels, honestly. So I have no idea if we went and siege that down again, whether it would work or not. Uh, but yeah, let's press the end turn. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they attack us at Austin Erie. Come on, Mordor. Stop being a little bitch. Attack us at Austin Erie. Uh, honestly, Mordor has just been... Like these, like Dolgador and Mordor are just like not hard. They're just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main thing. They're just like a little uh, Jack Russell snapping at your heels everywhere you go. Uh, well, I guess it's keeping us honest and we're not just rolling over everyone because of it. But once this new army's done, I, I, there's no mercy for Dolgador anymore because they've just made me really annoyed with them. So Dolgador will die. Very, very, very sure of that. Um, I would like to take Amon Lank uh, or Dolgador. Um, just because, you know, it's it's rightfully Darwinian. It's not... Like, the other guys have done nothing. Merchant Guild Headquarters for Avalyn's Rest. Really? Why is it so obsessed with Avalyn's Rest? It's not even a rich place. I don't want to decline that because that'll mean that we never get it again. Mornithel, we did get the barracks. So, can we go to the next level of barracks? Probably not. We can do the Thorn Armory. Well, let's smash that in then. Elgair, I've got the chicken farming. Let's get something expensive like the dockyard. Elgair's pretty rich. Mistrand as well. Let's go for the shipwright. Uh, Rawberg got the standing stones. The only other thing it can get is the chicken farming. So that's fine. Rhubar's ready for upgrade. Fantastic. Let's queue that in. Now we can accept this goddamn guild. Problem is, you, you hardly ever get the offer to accept that guild but it's just in the wrong place that's the third level of guild you really don't get that very often uh right then so this army it's got to be ready to go now hasn't it so yeah we don't have any moriquendi protectors in terms of those boys but let's get our archers in there first Three, four. I mean, those are really good archers, so happy with that. Let's then also get the Avari Naharim in there. This is a pretty elven army so far. Um, then let's go for these three boys. Remember, we've got these guys as well. Then let's go for the Bladesman. Then I would like a couple of the Thorn Guard because they are so good. Uh, and then, yeah, maybe another Thorn Guard. And then it's cavalry time. So we've got three units left. 
you guys get back there. You can still get free upkeep from that. Uh, where's... Oh, there we are. I was going to say, where's the other army gone? You guys coming down for retraining. Right, this army's ready. They've tapped, tagged in. How long till Austin Airy sieged? Well, do we want to go south and just take out Varfest once and for all? I don't think that would be a terrible idea, to be honest. Um... Let's get here. Let's build a watchtower. Build another watchtower. And let's get after Karagukor. We could build one there as well. I know it's a bit overkill, but... Oh, well. <sighs> Fuck off with your siege here, man. It's so annoying. Ah, oh, we do have the Mori Quendi protectors, but they're there. Let's retrain them. Getting the armory very soon. You guys are coming up. Uh, coming down for retraining. So, yes. You guys get in there. Get into Beralga. This music's sick. I'm enjoying this music. Uh, cool. So, Strondos. Well, I think we can use all these troops to bolster the next army. Edwardin's army. Because they are pretty damaged. So where do we go then? Is it worth going... I think it's worth going for Brown Boat, or whatever it's called now. Um, and just leaving that as Rebel, so we're not bordering another one in the forest. And just coming down the sort of southern edge of the forest, and taking it out. Let's go have a look up here. Austin Gale as well. Um, I mean, they've got more settlements down there, don't they? Um, they've got one in here. So I'm thinking, like, Brown Boat, Austin Gale, this one, this one, and then on to Dolgador. And that'll be pretty much Dolgador dead. And hopefully it will relieve them for the elves and stuff to go and take them out. But <sighs> I'm not, I don't trust the woodland elves as far as I can throw them, to be honest. They don't really seem very interested in helping us out. So, uh, yeah. Let's get a couple of extra boys in there. Uh, in fact... I'd rather retrain you. Yeah, I'd rather retrain you than recruit you, but we can actually recruit another one. Um, and then we should go for the Thorn Armory next. After we've built the Militia Garrison. So let's end the turn. Kargukor. Sounds... It's a pretty cool name, that, honestly. Oh, never utter the black speech of Mordor. But I want to. It sounds cool. Ashnaz Gimbatul. Ashnaz Trakataluk. Something ishi Krimpatul. Okay, well. What I think we're going to do then, there, guys, is we will end the episode here, and we will start next episode on Norway the Defender versus Captain Lug. What does he have, though? Because the balance of power is in their favor slightly, so I'm assuming, oh, yeah, it's the Trolls. I mean, the rest of this, Sauron's Will are pretty good, but the rest of that is trash. Uh, the Lok Gamprim, obviously very good. Um, but apart from that, <laughs> how many rams do you need, my friend? How many rams do you need? Uh, but the problem is, Austin Ari these settlements that we have, the northern uh, style settlements, are actually horrendously bad as defensive settlements compared to, say, like Gondor. Um, or even elven settlements are better because at least... Inside the city, it's on a hill. So your archers can fire pretty nicely. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. That would really help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.